fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty, Io Silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Let's go, big fella! In the middle of a rolling plain of lush green prairie grass, Rocky Patch was an ugly clump of scrub thatched boulders. But to the Indian, who urged his sturdy paint up the steep and narrow trail to the top, was soon revealed a shallow basin of the same rich soil as the plain below this time ridged into neat rows of waving grain. Tonto's eyes, searching the basin for a sign of the farmer, suddenly saw a man lying on the ground under the blazing sun, his arms and legs tied, his head twisted and limp against the blue-green grass. Get him up, scout! Oh, scout, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm not dead. <coughs> Uh, now you free. Yeah. Here, you drink water. Oh, <coughs> you get bad blow on head. Now you rest. Me fix wound now. Uh, what happened? Um, legs. I can hardly move them. Uh, them plenty stiff. Somebody tie you. Oh, oh yes, I... I remember now. I... Oh, my... Oh, no. no. You drink this. Uh, you feel better by and by. Oh, thanks, Injun. If you hadn't come, I'd have been a goner. Oh. What's your name? Me, Tonto. Uh, who you? Wood Saunders. I, I own this farm. That is, I soon will, unless Tom Hunt and his waddy has run me off it. Oh, uh, him feller who tie you? He's boss of the Barrex Ranch. Spread runs all around the foot of Rocky Patch. Oh, yeah. Uh, me see it. I've sweated for more than six months to make a home up here. I've cleared the land for crops and built a cabin and barn with just my own hands. But that don't make any difference to Tom Hunt. He hates homesteaders. Today he came to see me. And I'm telling you straight, clear out. I don't want nesters on my land. Technically, I reckon Rocky Patch is your land, Mr. Hunt. But it's too steep for your steers to climb and graze, and you never paid no attention to it before I filed my claim. That ain't here nor there. You're a farmer. And I'd rather be hog-tied and see your kind within miles of my ranch. I'll give you your answer now. It's no. What? I like Rocky Patch. 
In two weeks, my claim will be proved. This is my home, and I mean to keep it. Why, well, you young whippersnapper, I'll have my worries run you out of here so fast it'll make your head swim. Now, Dad, you know what the doctor said about your blood pressure. Benji, what in thunder are you doing up here? What's the trouble? Won't Whit follow orders? You... You mean to say you know this, this land-grabbing maverick? Your daughter's been here before. Whit and I are old friends now, Dad. Blast it, Nancy. I won't have you palavering with a nester. Your range boss has been here, too. I'll thank you to order Monk Myers to stay free of my farm. Order my... Why, you young buckaroo, I'll... Well, why won't you let Whit stay? It's not Keep really... Keep on listening, Nancy. You've got no business up here with this ornery coyote anyway. I think you've said all you came to say, Mr. Hunt. Whit, wait. You're darn tootin' I have, and I'm saying it again. Ramoose. You ain't cleared out inside of a week by Juniper, I'll turn the boys loose. And they hate nesters worse than rattlers. Dad, you've got You're to You're coming listen. with me, young lady. If your ma was living, she'd skin you alive before she'd allow you to mix with the farmer. Get up, horse. Get along there. Goodbye, Whit. Goodbye, Nancy. Say it while you can, you young squirt. It's your last goodbye. Monk, keep your hands clean. I got you covered. You ought to know I've got no reason to carry a gun up here. Sure. I saw you wasn't wearing a gun belt. I figured maybe you was the knife-throwing kind. Why, Easy. you... Easy. They've got a nervous trigger finger for nesters. What do you want? Well, I've been listening to your talk from behind them boulders. You seem to have a notion that you... It's more than a notion, Monk. It's a fact. Neither you nor any other Tom Hunt's waddies can stop me. Oh, I'm right sorry to hear that, Whit. You don't frighten me. That's because you haven't got much imagination. If you had, you'd see how easy it'd be for me to drill you without anybody ever knowing. A killer, huh? That's right. When somebody steps between me and what I want... Meaning Nancy Hunt? Yeah. Her and something else. I thought I saw you skulking in back a few of the times she came to see me. You don't have a chance, Monk. I will after you're gone. But I'm staying. And there's six bullets in this gun that say different. Oh, I and see. And it's up to you how you go. Perpendicular or horizontal? I'd just as soon drill you. But, but you'd rather not risk a hang noose if you can help it, huh? Yeah. If I had a gun, you wouldn't have the nerve, Monk. I'll just have to do the best with what there is. <laughs> you won't fire again. Let go of that gun, you. Give me that gun. Take it. Oh. You honorary coyote. Lead's too good for you. I'm sending you six feet under, but slow. You'll Bake under a blazing sun by day, and at night you'll freeze. No food, no water. Just a slow, torturing sleep. His voice sounded like it was miles away, and then I came to for a minute and saw he tied me, the way you found me. I, I guess I must have dropped off again. Uh, him hit you plenty hard. I reckon it all happened that more than a half hour ago. And you feel better now. Yeah. Thanks to you, I... Look. Uh, smoke. My crops are on fire. They'll all be destroyed. Come, Scout. Now, you get up and saddle quick. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Scout. Oh, fella. Oh, oh fella. <laughs> We haven't a chance to stop on that blaze. Uh huh. Grain burned plenty fast. Every bit of my spring plant going up in flames. Cabin on fire. My barn, too, and all my stock is pinned inside. We get them out plenty fast. Uh, man run from house. Him fired us. Hey, it's Monk, the yellow snake. He sent a match to everything I own. Get him right away. We've got to get the stock out of that barn. They'll be burned alive. Uh huh. I hear door. We work plenty fast. Oh, Racing into the burning building, Tonto and Whit Saunders worked frantically to free the stock that was quartered there. Flaming brands hurtled from the roof of the barn to the hay-strewn floor, narrowly missing the Indian and the farmer and setting a dozen new fires. Suddenly, as the last stock was being driven out, they heard an ominous rending overhead and looked up to see the flaming roof about to crash upon them. Look out, Tonto, we'll be trapped. Ah, uh, you come. We'll just get this stock clear of the door. The roof not hold up much longer. Oh, I know it. Come on, here Animals out of danger now. Look out, here it comes. Burned out. Six months' work. The whole farm gone up in smoke. 
But it'll take more than this for the bar to drive me off. Ah, uh, that good. You fight for right. You bet I will. The next bar skunk who shows himself on Rocky Patch is getting a slug. Some time later, the thick smoke from three signal fires billowed toward the sky from the rim of Rocky Patch. It was the traditional sign of the West that help was needed. In scanning the trail toward the nearby town of Bear Ridge, Tonto was confident that the Lone Ranger would answer his signal. He did not know that at that moment, Monk Myers was conferring with Cal Judson in the latter's office. Ah, you're a fool, Monk. You had that nester set for a pine box, but you had to do it the hard way. Now he's more alive than before. Well, how'd I know that blasted redskin had come nosying around? Except for Tom Hunt and Nancy, nobody takes a trail up to Rocky Patch. Who is the Indian? I don't know. Never saw him before. Fine mess you've made. Now we'll have to do it all over again. Maybe not, Cal. Before I left, the Nestor's whole farm was a mess of flames. There wasn't a chance of stopping the place. Now there's nothing to keep with on his claim. It'll take more than a fire to drive him out. I know that young pup. He's proud and full of fight. I reckon you're right. If we don't act fast, somebody else will get wind of the gold buried on Rocky Patch. Maybe even Whit Saunders himself. You're uh, sure there is gold up there, are you, Cal? Of course I'm sure. Got a map that shows the exact location. But it's on the Nestor's claim, and as long as he's alive, we can't dig for it. The half-breed might have made the story up. I don't invest cash without proof that I'm going to get a sizable chunk more in my investment back. No offense. I just wanted to be sure I wasn't risking my neck for nothing. I wouldn't have told you about the gold if I didn't need you to get rid of Whit Saunders. Tom Hunt has threatened to have the boys run the nester off in a week. Now, Tom Hunt's wait... daughter wraps the old coot around her finger. You know that. She wants Whit to stay. He'll be there come doomsday. All right. I'll go gunning for him again. Now, when? Tonight. Looks like it's going to be cloudy. It'll give me a chance to sneak into the patch without being seen. Now, this time, don't get any fancy notions. Give them a straight taste of lead. Don't worry. I don't make the same mistake twice. I'll drill him full of so many holes. If he don't pass out from lead poisoning, he'll die of pneumonia. Night was thick on the prairie below Rocky Patch when the Lone Ranger reined in beside Tonto. Oh, sir, oh, boy, oh, oh. Uh, you come plenty fast. I left as soon as I saw your signal, Tonto. You not bring Dan? No, I didn't want to involve him in danger. He'll be all right in town until we return for him. Uh, now, what's wrong, Kimosabe? Plenty wrong on Rocky Patch. Me ride down to Prairie to meet you. Think maybe you not find mountain trail in dark. Is the trail far from here? Half mile. We go there plenty quick. There may be trouble later. What kind of trouble? Me tell you why we ride. Get him up. Come on, Silver. As the powerful Silver and the sturdy Scout raced across the prairie toward the mountain trail, Tonto revealed the nature of Whit Saunders' trouble to his masked friend. Then they began the short but steep ascent. Set fire to his farm, huh? Ah, uh, him lose everything but livestock. I see. We come to Rocky Patch, that basin head. This trail is treacherous. Ah, uh, it plenty steep, narrow. We go slow. Watch out for loose rocks. Steady, Scout. Steady. Easy, Silver. Easy. Listen. Ah, uh, shots come from top of trail. That horse is running away. Ah, uh, head this way. Stop him. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Horse not have rider. He must have thrown her. Ah. Oh, boy. Pull up close, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Nancy! Tonto, look. Ah, horse throw girl and ledge. She's unconscious. That's right. If she moves an inch when she recovers, she'll fall over the cliff. Come on, Silver! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. Whit Saunders stood staring with horror at the still huddled figure of the girl he loved. Nothing short of a miracle had saved her from instant death. The ledge where her body rested was not more than two feet wide. A narrow shelf which jutted from the scrub-thatched face of Rocky Patch some distance down from the rim. 
Beyond it was a sheer, breathtaking drop to the prairie. Racing to the top of the trail, the Lone Ranger and Tonto quickly drew rein. Oh, sir, oh, 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 hurry, Tonto, bring your rope. Uh-huh. I didn't know it was Nancy. I wouldn't hurt her for anything. Wait, your man. There's no time for talk. Run both of these ropes through the fork of that scrub. Oh, yes, sir. Fasten the end of your rope to Scout Tonto. I'll fasten mine to silver. Ah, uh, me savvy. You're going down to it? Yes. Let me go. After what I did, You'll I be should... needed up here. Hurry with those ropes, man. There, they're through. I'll arrange this noose around my waist. You take plenty of care. I will. Are the horses ready, Kimosabe? Uh, Wit, give me that other rope. Uh, here it is. Keep an eye on those ropes. Make sure they don't snag after they go through the scrub. Uh, you can count on me. Good. Ready, Tonto? Lower away. Held by the noose and the rope, which on the cliff above him, Silver was slowly lowering by stepping backward. The lone ranger braced his feet against the sheer wall of the cliff. In his hand, he carried the looped end of the second rope. For one breathless moment, it seemed that the lariat would be too short to reach the ledge on which the unconscious girl lay. Then, the masked man's feet touched the narrow shelf. He bent carefully and slipped the second noose under the girl's armpits. The rope tottered. And at Tonto's signal, Scout hauled the slim, still figure toward safety, while the Lone Ranger, hoisted by silver, steered her clear of jagged rocks and scrubs. Take hold of Nancy with. <coughs> she she looks so pale. She isn't hurt bad, is she? <coughs> Come over and look at her, Toto. Uh, let me bring water. Uh, her face, maybe me see. Uh, what is it, Kimasabi? Bullet grazer. Bullet. But I, I didn't shoot to kill. I shot high. Just to scare whoever it was and to hightail in the back down the trail. How many shots did you fire with? Well, one. Though it echoed just like there were two. I see. <coughs> Oh, she's coming around. Ah, uh, she feel fine by and by. Me not find broken bones anymore. Oh, 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 and you, you land grabber Nister, you shot her. I couldn't have shot her, Mr. Hunt. I you fired at her, didn't you? Well, no, not the directly. The story's too thin, young fella. You're coming with me, Whit. The sheriff in Bear Ridge is mighty accommodating to gents who are too free and easy with their shooting irons. When he hears how you took a shot at a defenseless girl, well, he'll likely give you room and board for keeps. You smooth-tongued snake. I'll take my chances with the sheriff against yours any day. Quit. Oh, Nancy. Nancy, are you all right? Yes, I... I'm all right. Get away from my daughter, you crop-raising coyote. Dad, you... you can't send me to no use jail. arguing, Nancy. I aim to get rid of this and Nestor once and for all. Get moving, you. I'm taking you into town the way a Nestor ought to be took. On foot. Later that night, a masked man who wore a white hat and six guns hung low trailed Monk Myers from the jail to Cal Judson's office. As he crept closer, the door opened suddenly. Two men came out. The Lone Ranger flattened himself in the shadows of a building as they strode toward a nearby barn. Then he stealthily followed suit. You'll find picks and shovels packed in that toolbox, Monk. Some canvas bags, too, for loading the gold. Oh, everything ready and waiting, huh, Cal? You must have anticipated this trip for some time. I don't leave anything to chance, if that's what you mean. I'll harness the team to the buckboard. Uh, make sure you don't forget the map. Got it in my pocket. Oh, oh steady there. Oh, now. That was a stroke of luck. You're trailing Nancy. Hunt up Rocky Patch tonight. Yeah. Uh, she was so anxious to see that nester. <laughs> she liked to bust a saddle girth riding up the path. Steady, boy. Is that what changed your mind from drilling wit to framing him for shooting this girl? What do you mean? I hear you're pretty sweet on Nancy yourself. You hear too much, Cal. Creasing the girl's scalp was mighty close shooting, Monk. Or was it that you aimed for a solid hit and missed? Mm, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But either way, Whit Saunders stood to be blamed for it. <laughs> yeah. The beauty of it is, he shot his rifle about the same time you shot yours. And the masked man and the engine like to arrive in time to ruin everything. 
You know, lucky I heard him coming after the shot and hidden the brush. <laughs> and after they passed, you hightailed it back down the trail to fetch Tom Hunt from the ranch. <laughs> So as he'd blame the uh, Nestor for shooting his daughter and clap him in jail. Yeah, that's it. And Whit can't bother us while he's behind bars. We can dig up that yellow dust that's buried on his land, and he'll never know the difference. Already with them tools, Monk? Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a hand and uh, lift the box into the buckboard. All right. <laughs> Better take that lantern, too. We'll need light to see by when we dig. There. I got it. Yeah, well, let's climb up behind that team and get rolling. Yeah. Well, here's to us, Monk. Here's to us and the golden journey. Get up! Come on! Up. A short time later, the Lone Ranger crept to the window of Tom Hunt's ranch house on the bar X spread and looked in. Sitting in the parlor were Nancy, now recovered from the shock of her recent ordeal, and Tonto, whom she had insisted accompany her despite her father's objections. The masked man rapped softly on the window. You. You know who I am? Yes, I. Uh, me tell her. You friend. Where's your father, Nancy? He went upstairs. Good. We can talk without being overheard. Now, uh, how much does Whit Saunders mean to you? I... Well, we talked of getting married, but... But when Dad found out Whit was homesteading on Rocky Patch, he was so furious... How did he that... find out? Monk Myers told him. I see. And now Whit's in jail for something... Whit he... didn't fire the shot for which he's being punished. Why, I know he didn't. He couldn't have. You can help prove his innocence. How can I help? Bring paper and pencil, Tonto. Quickly. We haven't much time. Tom Hunt stormed into the sheriff's office. A hastily written note in Nancy's handwriting clenched in his fist. He thrust the note under the startled sheriff's nose. Where is she? Oh, my daughter, you confronted fool. If you've married him, I'll... Nancy, mashed. An engine. Reach for your guns. It's a hold-up. Keep your guns in leather, Sheriff. We're not outlaws. Hmm. Got the drop on me. Maybe you're right. They're kidnappers. That's what they are. They kidnapped my daughter. That's not true. I'm here of my own free will. You, you can't mean what you say in this note. He ain't really going to marry with Saunders. I certainly am, if you'll have me. Nancy, did I hear you say... You mean... I'm asking you to marry me, Whit. Marry you? Oh, gosh, I... Oh, there would have to be cell bars between us at a time like this. Hey, Sunday no daughter of mine's going to marry a nest year. I'll let me... You'll do nothing, Dad. I'm 21, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. But, but he's in jail. There's no law that says a prisoner can't be married. Is there, Sheriff? Uh, let me see now. Uh, let me see. Nope, uh, I don't know as it's ever been done, but there ain't no law against it. You tongue-wagging old marsh, horn you? Uh, a jailbird for a silly law. He doesn't have to be a jailbird, Dad. What do you mean? Well, you had Whit arrested. You can free him. Free that homesteading maverick after he almost murdered you up there on the trail? Mike Why, Myers I... fired that shot, Hunt. Huh? Then he rode to the ranch to bring you. It's true, Dad. I noticed that Monk was following me shortly before the bullet grazed well, me. That don't prove Monk did it. Free Whit, and I'll give you further proof. Turn that land grabbing farmer loose so he can roost in the middle of my ranch. It's and... better than my marrying a jailbird, Dad. Uh, oh, boy, Thunder Nancy, you don't give me no choice. And look, that cell, Sheriff, you loose judge, stove in bow legged galoot. Two men stood waist deep in a hole they had dug near the trail atop Rocky Patch, close to the spot where the Lone Ranger had rescued Nancy. The light of a lantern flickered over the faces of Monk Myers and Cal Judson and glinted from their shovels as they heaved fresh dirt from the pit. You sure this is a spot, Cal? It's a spot marked on the map. Uh, we've dug deep enough to uncover ten cases of gold. Can't be buried much deep. Just struck something. It's the case. Help me scrape the dirt away. Hey, give me that bar. I'll pry open the lid. Here. Gold. 
told you it was here. Just look at that yellow dust, Monk. Must be worth more than $20,000. Yeah. And it's all ours. You're wrong. What the? It's that mask pretty you mentioned. You're trespassing on Whit Saunders' property. This gold belongs to him. Why, you... Don't try it. <laughs> you won't use that hardware again, you poor cat. Persuade me to run Whit Saunders off Rocky Patches so you can get your ordinary fingers on some gold. If Nancy wasn't here, Monk, I'd break every bone in your body for tying me up and burning my buildings and crops. You can't prove it. Yes, he can. And also that you tried to murder Nancy. That's a lie. You told Tom Hunt you heard the gunfire, Monk. How many shots were fired? Why, one. The one that wounded the girl. And I remember it was followed by an echo. That's all I want to hear, Monk. You're under arrest. What do you mean, Sheriff? The masked man told me there were two shots fired. One on Wits and one by you. They were so close together, they fooled Wit into thinking that yours was an echo. I don't see... I listened when the masked man shot your gun out of your hand. There weren't nothing following it but dead silence. There ain't no echo here and never was. I'll settle that! just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>